Hello everyone. Now let's start building the client that will connect to the uh, milestone uh, exportex system and log in to the uh, mobile server. To use that, to start building the client, we, we need the SDK, the milestone uh, XP mobile SDK, which you can download from a milestone site. Uh, or there's another way you can take it from uh, the location where the mobile server is uh, uh, installed. If you have a Windows, uh, I would recommend to go to the milestone site and download the SDK. You have to sign up and download the SDK. In my case, I'm in Mac and the install Windows installer will not do much of the benefit. So uh, I will show you the other way. Uh, you can go to the location where the VMS is installed and navigate to C, program files, then milestone, then mobile server. And here in the web folder is the milestone web client. Here you will found, find the SDK. You can just copy and paste it to the location uh, where you will start to build your own client. In my case, I already uh, built the client and uh, I have copied it to the uh, folder where I will start building. And now uh, I will walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to uh, build your first client. Uh, everything here that I will show uh, is uh, um, now it's, it's uploaded to the GitHub, so you will find the link in the video description. To the, GitHub, to the GitHub repository where you can uh, download the code and play with it. So I have already uh, copied here the SDK from the location where web client is uh, installed. And I have made an uh, index.html file, which have one JavaScript file and one web component, which uh, will be the one form that uh, I will use to log into the uh, milestone system. Uh, so let's go through the code. Uh, the client, uh, the, the main JavaScript is located in GS folder, this one. And what it does is add an event listener whenever uh, the page is loaded to start the application function which application function loads some uh, web components. This is the location of the web components. And it go, loops through this module and create a JavaScript and load this uh, into the DOM. And the second part of JavaScript is to actually load the, the SDK. Again, we're creating a new script element. We are adding an event listener, which uh, whenever it's loaded, to call this function. And that is the actual location of the SDK. You can see it here. This is the minified version. Uh, and we attach this to the head part of the document. Whenever the document is loaded, it will call our function. And currently it's, not, it's doing nothing. But uh, when we continue to build uh, upon this, we will use this to do some other stuff. That's the very basic how you can load the SDK and start uh, start setting commands to the server. And now let's go to our uh, web component. It's located here. Uh, what it does is it have one uh, class which extends HTML element. I have called the web component milestone login form. And whenever you register a new web component, you have to register it like this. And this is the class actually that will uh, handle our uh, component. Uh, in this component, we have one template. I'll go to the template in a minute. The name of the module. Then we have the constructor. We call the uh, super of the HTML element. And then we create a new shadow DOM. Uh, in this shadow DOM, we will uh, put all uh, other stuff, uh, the, the template, and we'll operate with it. Whenever the web component is attached to the DOM, this call, current callback is called, where we are taking the template, attaching it to the, to the shadow DOM, 
and we are uh, assigning an event listener to the button which whenever it's clicked it will go to uh, execute this method of this uh, class so let's go now with the template template is very simple uh, it's a class that creates templates it has a CSS I just put some CSS to uh, uh, vi to visualize better the working form and we have one field set with username, password, and a button to click on it. The CSS also is very simple. I just put some uh, styles, very simple styles, to have a simple uh, HTML form. Uh, and then whenever the button is clicked, this uh, method is executed, we go to the, to the uh, SDK. The, how the SDK is operating, it calls back some functions that can be passed like an observer method. For example, in current uh, case, I have put a uh, function whenever we uh, have a connection to a server and whenever we uh, have a successful login. Whenever the connect is executed, so we have already communication with the mobile server. In this method, I will uh, ask the SDK to login with the username and password that are already inserted into the uh, field. And whenever this is done, the login is successful, uh, I will add uh, a class to our form, which I will hide it, and will uh, alert some message indicating that we are logged in and we can now operate with the uh, VMS with some other commands. So let's uh, not talk anymore about the code. Uh, you can take it, download it, and play with it. Let me show you uh, the code. It's located here in this repository. And this is the code, actually. This is a very simple uh, form. Whenever we can uh, log in, I will put my username and password. Let me first show you the console. Uh, And now I'll log in. Log in. You can see that connect is executed. Then we have a login with username and password. They are all encrypted. And whenever uh, we are logged in, there is a message showing that we are logged in. So now when I press, I will I dismiss the alert. The login form will uh, be hidden uh, as I show in the code and the SDK will continue the communication with the server. So it will send messages, it will request challenges, it will do whatever it needs to do to keep the connection alive and uh, uh, be operational. I think that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I will uh, try to do some video and show you how you can uh, show videos when you're logged in with the uh, VMS.